Hey YouTube, welcome back to another resin review. This is gonna be another quick one. Uh, I have here today for you a uh, another bus. It's gonna be a Majin Buu bus. This is from Shogun Studios. Um, I got the hookup for this bad boy from uh, a friend of mine, a guy on the uh, the Smash page. His name is Brent Michael Kelly. Some of you guys know him as Colossus. Brent Michael Kelly, thank you very much for the hookup and the great deal on this uh, Buu bus. So. Glad we can make a deal and I'm about to get in here and open this thing up. Okay, so let's get a closer look at this thing. Off the bat, man, it's got really good detail in the paint. I think that's what caught my eye at first, is the transitioning between the colors. So the dark pink and the light pink, it's really, really nicely painted. So I think, I still, I still say that the Broly bust is better than this one. Uh, not a whole lot, just slightly, but this thing captures his facial expression really well from the the saga, the Busa, Majin Buu saga. Um, and as you can see, it comes with the COA. This one's going to be, oh, it's just like the Broly, number four out of 500. There you go. It's on the back. Uh, and this is the little nameplate for it. It's pretty cool. I think that's just a little transfer paint on the bottom. It's pretty nice. Even the paint on the nameplate is pretty nice. Might have to maybe touch up the black a little bit in certain areas, but... Not too bad. All right, well, we'll take a look at this. So the paint, the pink, we talked about the pink already. The white for the teeth is, I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. Let's go around to the side. I was wondering, does he actually have holes in his ear? And the answer is yes. That's a actual hole. <laughs> and the dots on his chest are like, if you look focus, they're indented. So there's an indention on each hole in his chest. bottom the base is pretty simple it's just black a little dust on it there i have to clean that off but it's been traveling and around the back get that notch there in the back sorry i know the light's bright but it's pretty simple not a whole lot to it, but this bus was, even initially, it's a good price. I believe on the site, it's like 400. But it's a solid bus. So I'll slide it over. And we can compare it. So there's the two Shogun bus I have sitting next to each other for size comparison. I'll go ahead and measure the boot. And the boot to the top is about 16 inches from the table. 
and that Broly is it's about close to 19 so there's a significant size difference between the two Shogun busts that I have all right folks so that was my really quick review of this Majin Buu bust from Shogun Studios um, and again major shout outs to my boy Brent Michael Kelly uh, some of you guys know him as Colossus he hooked me up and got me a, a great deal on this uh, Majin Buu bust so thank you very much bro um, you're very very much appreciated if you guys have any questions man go ahead and leave them down at the bottom I thought it was gonna be maybe a little bit of a long review but this bust is so simple that there's just really not much to go over it's fairly new it's it's light it's really light so I'm not worried about setting it on one of my cases I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it yet I might put it on the opposite end of Broly or put it over here with the rest of the boo stuff because I got some more boo stuff that I actually got in you'll, you'll see those reviews here pretty soon too but yeah if you guys uh like the video please like it and subscribe if you haven't already tell your friends about it we're getting a lot of subscribers lately so I'm, I really do appreciate it and if there's something else that you guys want to see obviously let me know um but that's it for me, man. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching.